Hi, this is um, a quick video to show you these reflective journals. Um, this is, I guess, really for people who are going to be um, part of uh, part of one of the four churches um, in the west of the Isle of Man. But I guess, you know, I guess if you're somewhere else, you could still you could still take part. I tell you what, I'll put a I'll put a link below the video um, of a PDF file if you want to make your own one of these. But anyway, assuming you're one of the people who um, comes to one of my four churches on the west of the Isle of Man. Um, this is a reflective journal. Now, this is just an idea, we'll, we'll give this a go. But I'm really keen on helping people to explore um, how God speaks to them throughout the whole week. If you watch my previous videos, you'll get, um, you'll get a gist of that. So I'm going to give you all one of these, um, a, little, a little booklet. Okay, I'll show you what's in it. Let's talk talk through. So to start with, just an introduction to um, the whole thing, and there's a some details of where you can find the videos on YouTube and a Facebook page. And then the the book is kind of in two halves. Um, the first half kind of functions like almost like Bible study, Bible reading notes. So for each of the four Sundays or five Sundays. In the month, there'll be a page which has got the passage we're going to look at and some questions for you to think at, and loads of white space for you to write down what you think, what you think it might mean, what you what you heard in the sermon, all that sort of stuff. Write down anything you like. So there's one of those for each of the um, each of the four Sundays, and then the second half. Um, is for another place to write down how you think God's spoken to you. Again, if you've watched my previous video on the four ways that God speaks every day, um, you'll know that apart from scripture, there are three other ways. So this page is for things that you've thought about, um, scientific things you've discovered, how you think sociology speaks into the things that we're looking at. So anything at all um, that you've thought of, basically. Write down your thoughts. Then a page for tradition, which is broadly learning from other people, what other people have said about this. So maybe it could be a lyrics from a song that's in your head. Write that down. If you bumped into people and talked to them, write down that encounter. And then experience. Um, use your spiritual senses to write down here times when you've got a sense that there's something deeper going on. And then finally, um, a quick preview of the passages we're going to look at next month. Okay, so the idea with these journals is to just give you a space to write stuff down. So it it's often, well, if you're anything like me, you forget things very quickly. Uh, and if you jot stuff down, um, it's a way of making it more concrete, making it more valued. Um, and as you look back, you might find that you see connections forming and you can unravel the complex message that God's saying by, by looking at it um, again. It's going to be private, no one's going to look at it, so feel free to, um, to write down whatever, whatever you want in it. Don't worry about keeping it neat. If you wanted to decorate it though, if you want to do it in a, an artistic style, that would be fab. You could, you could draw and colour in here, stick things in. Um, use it as you will. But it's there, a reflective journal. Okay, hope you find it a blessing.